Hi Virgo, welcome to your January 2018 reading. This is for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Virgo. I would like to thank all of you for sharing, liking, and subscribing to my channel. And to those of you who have made donations and book readings, I absolutely enjoy doing this for you. Um, please check out your moon and rising sign as well. Sometimes they'll resonate a little bit better than your sun sign does. And what I like to do is look at all three and I pull out everything that is applicable for my life and it gives me a really good idea of what is coming. Now, if none of these resonate with you, you can always book a reading with me at ascendingsoulsjourney.com and the link is below. You can click on the link. Oh, they want these, okay. Okay, so this is the last week of December where we're at right now or whenever you're looking at it. The last week of December into the first week of January, moving into the first second, moving into the third and fourth week. So it just kind of flows right in. So some of you are in an environment at work where there is a... Uh, there's toxicity where you're working. Now they may have overlooked you for a promotion. Um, somebody kind of like maybe stabbed you in the back. They took the glory and it should have went to you, but you didn't get it. They actually acknowledged the other person is what I'm hearing. And here's the wonderful thing that's that I like is you actually have an opportunity coming to you you are aware you have multiple opportunities that are out there options are coming forward and it is going to take place in January you're going to have a job offer come through this job offer is going to put you on a new beginning that you get to use your creative expression in this job so what you're doing now isn't really fulfilling you because it's not what you really wanted to do. It's like you pick this career because it pays well, but it isn't in the line of what you want to do. The new offer that's coming through is going to not only be in line with what you want to do, it's, it's what you're passionate about, okay? Um, but it's also going to pay very, very well. And... It's gonna put your life back into balance on a financial level. Now you may have to move to a relocate for this opportunity, but what I'm hearing is they will actually help with the move. They're not gonna help 100%, but they are gonna contribute, so that'll help offset that for you, where you can actually afford to make that move and join their team, because this is a large uh, corporation yeah now for some of you you are dealing with um a family situation and through the holidays you know we're talking about joy celebration and this particular group you actually celebrated the holidays with your family there was some sense of um and and what i'm really hearing is humiliation okay we have the Ten of Swords here, which is a form of betrayal. And we also have the Three of Swords, which is heartbreak, right? But I'm hearing like they humiliated you. They, they kind of ripped you apart in front of everybody and it hurt you deeply. Um, so you're trying to move away from that. There's a lot of toxicity that was taking place at the time. And maybe it's a normal event in your family family situation but you're throwing yourself into your work so that you can move away from this heartache and heart pain that they caused and the wonderful thing is you have the world card here so by the end of January you're going to be able to let go of what happened and you are going to be able to kind of voice your opinion and make it known I am not putting up with this and I'm going to move forward and that might actually propel you what took place <coughs> or is going to take place <coughs> excuse me may actually propel you to take this other opportunity that's going to come through um, because this communication is going to come through right after the last week of December first week of January in that time frame so 
you're being guided to move forward for the job, but it's also going to release you from feeling trapped and stuck in an environment around your family. You love your family, okay, but maybe you don't like them because of what they do. It seems to be a normal occurrence around uh, family gatherings, and for some reason, maybe they're picking on you, or maybe they just do it to everybody. But by moving forward, you're going to, to break free from, from feeling trapped and stuck in dealing with this type of an environment. It is not easy to deal with that. You know, you're in your mind, you're happy. You are very positive. <clears throat> when you're around your family or whoever these people are that hurt you, you feel more like a failure. And I'm being guided to tell you, yes, it's good for you to move forward. It is safe. Now you may want to stop and take a look, you know, before you make that decision, make sure that you feel that you're making the right choice, but you are being guided to actually make that move and it will just release you from everything. Now, when it comes to love, I'm seeing a group of you that have been, you went through a relationship that was was also very toxic. And there was a lot of, um, there was a sense of betrayal involved. I, I see cheating, like your partner cheated on you. Um, also, you do have the Three of Swords here, so that would definitely, uh, definitely put that in there. You have a new offer that's gonna come through, a new opportunity. Now, this person that's coming through to you they do live at a distance. You may have met them through work. Um, they live at a distance and they're going to contact you. They really like you. They kind of like the vibe. You might have met them at a holiday party or maybe just conversation over the phone. Um, maybe you're in the type of a corporation, a business where you do the tele, uh, what is it? Like, you know, you see each other when you talk. It's like, like everybody has TV set up. I don't know what it's called. You guys will let me know in the comments, I'm sure. But you know what I'm talking about, or you get to see each other. But they really like you is the point. And they're going to contact you. They have high hopes, okay? So this person that's going to contact you is a very solid, stable individual. They have basically, well, they have their shit together, okay? So th they are open to giving and receiving love. They have built a world that they like. They're ready for a relationship. And they look at you and they see something about you that is very um, intriguing. It's, it's um, intoxicating, okay like they really are pulled toward you i don't have a soulmate card here but maybe they are a soulmate to you <clears throat> but they feel this deep pulling toward you and they're going to contact you you're being guided to actually keep an open mind and this card is keep an open mind your soulmate may vary from your usual type so that may be a soulmate um, because they are not going to be your usual type. And they're going to want to take a very slow with you. And you're being guided to make sure that you stay intact with who you are. Because of what you went through in the past, hopefully you've completely healed or you're coming out of that healing process. But you're being guided to make sure you put yourself first. You know, one of my favorite cards is the Nine of Pentacles. That is a person who is highly independent. They have built this world that they love. And so is the King and Queen of Pentacles. They are as well. They've built a world that they love also. By doing this, by putting yourself first and loving yourself first, it's going to open you up so that you can look at this person from a different perspective and and see the good in them and see the value that they have to offer you in a relationship. And it's okay for you to love. It's okay for you to express your feelings. You know, you want to tell them how you feel. It could be a very good 
good situation. Now for another group of you, this is a soulmate. This is somebody from your past and they're returning. This communication is coming from afar, so they live in a different state, a different country. Either you hurt them or they hurt you, but there was a lot of toxicity in the relationship. One of the two of you were, uh, I see alcohol, okay, so you were drinking a lot, partying a lot, um, but there was a, a form of betrayal. There could have been another person that you may or may not have been aware of. Um, you have been working really hard on loving yourself first, on healing over this relationship. Well, they're coming back, okay? And they're coming back to make you a real offer this time. They realize their mistakes. <clears throat> they want to put things back into balance with you. So they're waiting right now. They, at this moment, as we're looking at the beginning, end of December, they're waiting for the right moment to come forward. They're scared, okay? They know they hurt you deeply and they're a little bit afraid, but they have picked you. They see all this wonderful, amazing goodness in you, which we all do also. And you have the world card here. This is successfully completing a cycle in your life. Now, this isn't just with love. This is with money. This is with everything. What was in the past, the year of 2018 is going to be such a tremendously good year for so many of us. And for this particular group, this is your year. The year 2018 is going to be your year, not just for love, but also for career, finances, money, um, you're going to want, when they contact you, you're going to want to take a, a minute to absorb everything. Um, you're being guided to express your love to this person if that love is still there. Okay, this is going to be your choice whether you choose to go forward with this person, your soulmate from the past, or whether you choose to move forward in your own direction but the opportunity is coming to you. They want a brand new beginning filled with passion and excitement, adventure, creativity. They want something that's not boring. And they're, you know, they're very solid, stable, grounded like you are, right? Uh, but this is what they want. And what I'm seeing is they came from a relationship that was boring. So they were with a partner for a long time and the relationship just kind of unraveled and it did become toxic, but it unraveled because of lack of adventure, lack of excitement. There was no passion. There was just two people existing and they didn't like that. It didn't make them happy. So they tried most likely why they started drinking and partying and having fun and doing things that actually wound up hurting the one person that they truly, truly do love, and that is you. So they're coming back to make you um, an offer. So I do hope this helps you, and I wish you guys to have a wonderful January. Much love.